to Ukraine for one week. I've stayed in Ukraine for one week. To travel to Ukraine was something very spontaneous for me. I, I had the idea that I would want to go but I just didn't know when. But uh, since I was on vacation for one month, I was back from Norway and I still had two weeks. I thought you know, let's go. So I booked a flight and to Poland actually because you have to travel to Poland and then cross the border by car since the sky is closed. It was pretty long journey to, you know, uh, travel from Stockholm to Krakow, from Krakow by car towards the border, cross the border and then drive a couple of hours, maybe four hours to where my grandparents live. Uh, it's a very long and exhausting journey. Um, and so I did the same back from Ukraine to Poland and from Poland to Stockholm. And it took me two days to get back to Stockholm after afterwards. I'm happy I did go there even though I had mixed feelings. It was a bit, you know, unexpected or uncertain, you know, what, what to expect. What you're gonna see on this video is the very countryside of Ukraine or of where I used to live um, from four, I, four years old to 12 before I moved to Spain. So I have really great memories uh, from Ukraine, from my childhood, you know, you will be able to see like um, where I basically grew up or was raised. Um, you will see my grandparents. I will, of course, put subtitles. Um, you will hear actually the air raid alert. And that sounds every day, um, a couple of times per day in Ukraine. Every Ukrainian experience that. Some regions uh, have it even louder and it's a constant sound. And I remember the first time I experienced that was not really nice. Like I, I just, I remember th that feeling of being tense, you know, and rigid. I can notice exhaust when people are exhausted of, of this. And um, but for me, it was very, very insane. And to hear it at 2 a.m. at night where everything is like, you know, dark outside and you hear that loud sound um, was pretty, you know, pretty scary. I, I, I had some nights where I could not sleep, some sleepless nights. Um, but yeah, overall, um, it, it was a nice experience to go to Ukraine, to spend some time with my grandparents, um, with my mom. Um, it was, you know, short, but intense and great. And I'm so grateful that I did go. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Um, leave your comments or questions, whatever you wanna know. And I see you in the next video. Я спевал, я Президент Швеции и его мудрая влада, и что помогает Швеции украинцам. Да, давай. Волочка моя. То я, а то я на О. Tato, my mnóstwo nie
перемажем чи ні? Ми ні, ні, не переможемо. За 70 років, що в них зброї, всяких ракет накували, той невинний народ гине, в роздомі йдуть пологи, жінки дітей роять, а вони бомбять роздом. Ось я десь таку варила, бо бачила море. Ого, добре. Ну, я тут будувала, як свиню, мені не треба свиню в хат. Тривога! Повітряна тривога! Повітряна тривога!